Hey everyone, welcome to X to Z Chat. I'm Serge. I'm Rob. I'm Gen Z. And I'm Gen X. And today we are going to be doing more backrooms. So <laughs> thanks to everyone who was commenting on our latest videos. Uh, me and Rob are super excited because uh, we just started up this channel and you guys are already engaging with us yep. a lot, which was uh, really fun to see. And you guys especially love the backroom series as we found out um, because we watched found footage one and two and we asked you guys, hey, do you think it's worth uh, reacting to the rest of the series? And I think it's been a resounding yes. <laughs> resounding yes. So <laughs> I, I was pretty surprised. Uh, people were really enthusiastic about this and mm -hmm. they wanted more. So um, here you go. Yeah, and we heard a lot of interesting things from you guys. Um, a lot of cool observations, such as the fact that whenever someone's cough in the back rooms, there's like the people who are recording were always like coughing. So I'm wondering what that is tied to. Um, another interesting thing was that the person who um, was directing this, so I believe uh, Kane Parsons, he actually um, got basically like a major studio. He's right. So he's actually going to be working like on a like full film. It sounds a full like. film, a big so, gig. Uh, yeah, yeah, at his age, that's really impressive. And I think, uh, was he 16 or 17 when he did his first Yeah, 16, video? 17 years old. Uh, let yeah. us know. I think it's 16 years old. Wow. Um, but at 17, he is, is when he got this, um, this opportunity. Just a year later. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah, or he turned 17 in the midst of it. Or, yeah. well, you guys but know. You um, all know. Let yeah. us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but something, another thing that I'm really appreciative of is that something that was pointed out to us that we completely missed was that in his descriptions of his videos, he has links to like a secret video right. um, that's unlisted on yeah. YouTube. So that's really cool because there's even like extra bits of content. And so for this video, what we're going to be doing is since we missed uh, those two links in found footage one and two, in this video, we're gonna be combining both of those. We're gonna react to the secret link for found footage one and found footage two, since we just reacted to those videos. And while it's still fresh in our minds, we want to uh, see what's going on here. And then we'll give our theories as to what we're seeing. So um, it looks like these, we have them both pulled up. It looks like these are shorter videos. The first video here we're going to watch is only two minutes and 48 seconds. Um, before we get started, Rob, any any ideas on what this is going to be? You know, uh, all I know is uh, these backroom videos are pretty creepy. Uh, I think I shared with you last time about, it reminds me of a, a major, uh, most memorable nightmare I had as a kid. Right. When I watch these, they're really, really creepy. Um, but let's let's do it let's go with it i gotta say real quick I, I spoke to a friend of mine and was telling her that that we're, we're doing these uh, videos and she just creeps out she won't even watch them oh wow really yeah. Yeah. wow that's pretty cool yeah. full on adult she's like I, I don't even i know exactly what you're talking about i don't watch this anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i think another instant observation you had when we were watching it is you you were like noticing some like inspiration from uh was it the Blair Witch Project you said? The Blair Witch Project. And yeah. you and you told me I should definitely watch it. And it's it like an older film, right? Yeah, I think it came out in 1989. Uh, wow. You, you could, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but sometime around that. And uh, movie reviewers were, um, some of them didn't know what to make with it. Others uh, thought it's a whole new genre, and they were right. And the mm -hmm. ones that thought this is a new genre were really interested and excited about seeing where it was going to go with filmmaking yeah, yeah pretty cool yeah. so and um what's interesting about his videos with king i think is it's very cryptic like it doesn't give it all away and I, i'm guessing that the that project also had the blair witch project also had that kind of style i'm guessing right where it's kind of more cryptic or was it well, more literal <laughs> i know what you're all are thinking and you're right you're going to find out because we're going to watch it sometime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I, I guess, yeah, don't spoil it for me. <laughs> um, but for this these videos, I'm pretty excited as well because I, I already saw the first found footage when I showed it to you, of mm -hmm. course, and that's why I wanted to show it to you. Yeah. And then we reacted to found footage two together. And now for the, the rest of these series, I'm also completely in the blind. And uh, I'm a bit worried about how confusing this is going to be because some of you guys were making comments like, uh, don't let your brain explode or whatever. <laughs> like it gets really crazy, I'm guessing. So um, we'll just roll with it and see. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> see what we think. So. Um, <laughs> This is, I think this is the secret video for the first found footage. And I have no idea what to expect because the title doesn't tell me anything. Uh, it says March 1190. So I'm guessing this was, me this is made as if it was in the year 90s, 1990, um, archive tar. So it's some sort of archive folder because tars are like zip files, right? So like you can File take a bunch type, of, yeah. yeah, I thought, I thought it was like, you can take a bunch of files and put them into a zip. Right? Is that the same thing, the tar? Right. right. That's yeah. my understanding. Okay, so this is like a collection of files, I'm assuming. So, ready? 
Let it roll. Let it roll. Let's see. If it's too loud, I'll adjust it a little bit. <laughs> huh. I like how he has this like little like uh, the effect of the static key effect, which is like those old cameras, right? Mm -hmm. um, have you ever had a camera and it kind of had that screen data not accessible? Because I, I, <laughs> I haven't. No. Really? Okay. No. Uh, have you? No. Um, well, that's, I, I was asking because this, this is not like my generation type of thing. Yeah, like yeah. I've never seen this before. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, but one thing I noticed real quick was the music. All right. Yeah, the music is, the is it's very um, <laughs> suspenseful, right? Yeah. Let's see. That is not accessible. So it's like a corrupted file. Mm -hmm. What? It, it has a nostalgic feel to it, doesn't it? It reminds me of childhood for some reason. Childhood accordion or something. I wasn't even thinking, oh, is that what it's called, accordion? I was thinking of those, like, jingle things where it's, like, a keyboard. Right. Kind of, like, ding, ding, ding. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking of, too. I think it's called an accordion. Is it? No. An accordion? Because I thought accordion, yeah. I thought that's yeah. Like, no, that's an accordion. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm like, you know what we're talking about. I'm like, yeah. Rob, I think this I'm wondering what accordion sounds like. Do, do, do. That's <laughs> <laughs> Oompapa, man. No, it's not Oompapa. Not now. <laughs> All right. So it looks like um, it's reformatting, which means it fixes itself. Loading archive.tar. Yeah, so it is the f file. Maybe a little bit loud. Is that the back rooms? I think so. Hold on, let so me. I don't want it to move to the next scene. Um, I don't remember it having these in the found footage, right? It didn't yeah. have like the on wall support. Nothing on the wall like that. No. Yeah, just a little observation. Ooh. Okay. So. That's maybe a chip. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, like a motherboard. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, I wonder if it's also supposed to like represent the back rooms. What if the back rooms are like part of a computer? Right. So like you're like in a simulation. Right. Um, kind of like the Matrix, right? Interesting. Yeah. So. Yeah. But if it's literal, then yeah, computer, computer chip of some sort. It's kind of cool, just like flashing between different scenes. Huh. So, here's another, I'm guessing this, <laughs> this is a back room that's been flooded, but this looks like a real photo. I don't think this is um, CGI like that or stuff, right? Yeah, because the CGI was very clean. It's very clear. Mm -hmm. um, and I noticed the same thing with uh, the water mm -hmm. flooding the floor here. I'm yeah. wondering what that's going to lead to. So, um, I think this is what feeds into like liminal space horror which I think I touched on a little bit, which is like a whole horror genre, like kind of like arachnophobia is a fear of spider. Limbo space is like this whole other, a whole other thing where it's like a fear of like these open spaces, OP, open empty spaces. You guys can probably expand the definition for us in the comments below. Um, so help us kind of understand. But all I know is like open spaces. I don't have that fear personally. It just it just does feel, make you feel a little bit on edge um, when you watch it, but nothing like creepy like arachnophobia, for example. For me personally, how about you? Uh, well, open spaces, if there's nothing there, it's just, it's creepy. Mm -hmm. You have these big open spaces, it's its creepy. It's its yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, I think for me, I think I feel uncomfortable in a big open space when it's quiet. Like if it's, if, if, if there's like a hustle bus in the background, even if I don't see anything, it doesn't really feel creepy. But if it's like dead at night and it's like you're in like the empty parking lot mm -hmm. and it's like dead silent, that's when it kind of feels unsettling, mm -hmm. right? So one thing I, I remember being in a long time ago was in a huge uh, warehouse mm -hmm. and it was empty. And that in itself was, it was just very creepy. Um, it was, I didn't want to be there. <laughs> it was very <laughs> comfortable. Um, I don't know why. Is this evoking some of that feeling? Uh, I'm sure it's going to. Let's see. So... I didn't see any pipes in the back room either. So I wonder if maybe that's a different type of room or. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a printer or a typewriter or, or a primitive it's computer? Primitive computer for sure. Yeah. Ooh. What was that supposed to be representing then? He's taking some notes. Hmm. I wonder if the computer chip from earlier relates to this. Absolutely. And if yeah. it is, then maybe, like, let's say this is the... What if this is um, God, for example? Oh. Uh, like, like, kinda, like, if our whole life is a simulation that's running on this motherboard, then mm -hmm. technically speaking, this if the creator who's, like, who built it would be God. 
So that's kind of like a cool little twist, right? I mean, yeah, that's just, I, I'm just throwing out a wild theory. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I've, I've heard uh, stuff like that. We're in a big matrix. And right, a big simulation. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, simulation. Yeah, life is a simulation, right? Uh, I don't personally believe that, but <laughs> I think it's a really cool, like, metaverse, like, theory, right? Mm -hmm. That everything that you know in life is just a simulation and it's just it's such an advanced simulation that we don't know how to break out of it, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and, but it's kind of funny cause this is like such a primitive machine. You wouldn't think that everything that we are experiencing would be able to run on that. But yeah, at the time when that was, uh, when that was the only computer they had, mm -hmm. that was sensationally the best, oh, yeah. um, um, computer with the, all of its power, mm -hmm. uh, semiconductor, you know, on the face of the earth. That's probably an old IBM or something. Yeah. Can you guys let us know in the comments below? Is this actually what an order uh, order computer looks like? Um, like, is this the actual model or did they like make it look like as if it was an older model? This isn't actually what an older computer specifically looked like, I wonder. Well, this was definitely fed into the computer for sure. Uh, the computers at this time mm -hmm. probably took up the space of, um, of a 2,000 square foot room. Oh, yeah. I've heard about that. Like the big computers that take up the entire room. Yeah. Uh, IBM. Right. Yeah. Right. But that, that's my theory is that 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 person is the person who's like behind the simulation what about you what do you think i'll go with that yeah yeah all right um let's see is that this is this the same person or a different person i think it's a different person yeah i think it's a different person too you can't really tell because the other person's face is blurred and the blur is covering up his hair as well yeah. um but but they're part of the same team to create this Mm -hmm. If in fact it's a, 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 a stimulation, a simulation, a simulation, simulation, <laughs> simulation. What are you um, thinking about, Ron? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking, but uh, yeah. So it's I think a, a team creating yeah. this simulation, either simulation or maybe they're like the controllers or operators of the back room. Which, if that's even a thing, from what I saw, there wasn't in our like the found footage we watched. There wasn't any human survivors aside from the victim who gets slaughtered eventually, right? Mm -hmm. um, but maybe who knows? Maybe behind the back rooms, like in behind the scenes, they are operating everything. They're kind of like the observers watching as you run to your death, I guess. Well, in the the first two videos we saw, it, they were um, they were computer simulated, mm. right? F the back what rooms. Well, no, no, no. I was talking about how, how from a directing perspective, how Kane Parsons, how he filmed those was, um, well, I don't know for the first one, I'm assuming for a second as well, because it's a similar style, was he had like these um, VR goggles. And he was like walking through the simulated environment that was built. Mm. But I'm not talking about like in the storyline. That's just how he developed these. Gotcha. But okay. for the storyline, it's like, it's completely different. For example, it's like, like a movie, right? How it was made was obviously through a film camera, but we're not talking about how it was made. We're talking about where's the movie taking place, like what is going on, right? Right. Okay. Well, so, let's see. So let's let's keep going. And I wonder. I'm guessing for this, he just took some like old photos and put them together as if they're like related to the back rooms. Okay. So here is just some more. It sounds like looks like behind the scenes machinery. Those probably either uh, server racks or, because of the time, probably computers. Hmm. I see a lot of wires. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. So this kind of answers now, our question. Now, now. look at that. Look at look that at the picture. That Try to make it clear. Into look at the. That's not. Picture. I don't think that's. Is that a picture? I thought that was like no, a, it's a picture. But I mean, um, the view. Look at the. It looks view. like a window. He's. It's a window. He's looking into the back rooms. The back rooms. But he's also. It looks like he's controlling it or monitoring it. Cause he. Look at that. Right. So that that confirms that either I don't think it's necessarily a simulation because he's looking into it. So this must be physical, right? So that means they're not controlling it from a simulation perspective. They're controlling it as like the operators. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> so I mean, I'm just throwing out theories right now. What uh -huh. are you thinking? I'm curious. Um, I think that he's he might be looking into not an actual room, but oh. we I think it's made up. And we, as a viewer, are made to think it's an actual room. Oh, interesting. I think the whole thing's made up. Um, and he's making it up. Hmm. I, I think for me, I'm. it almost seems like there's some sort of operators or behind-the-scenes personnel 
And I, it is beyond me what the project here is, if it's some sort of experiment, because the people who, who were, who were the, like the victims who fell into this area, mm -hmm. um, who we watched in the first two footages, who like got killed by the monster, um, they did not receive any help of any kind. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this guy's monitor and I'm trying to uh, take a closer look into what's in the monitor. Hmm. And I'm, I'm looking for anything that would give me a clue to maybe the creature. Or mm -hmm. something I'm, I'm not seeing anything yet but i'm oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute this monitor right isn't this from uh the f in the first uh found footage isn't that from the view of the person who was holding the camera because remember he was walking remember. towards it and there's like yes. a shadow here yeah and the monster was so like walked by the shadow and then we instead turned left we didn't go into the shadow that's right. Good memory on that. <laughs> so uh, uh, let us know. Maybe is this. Maybe he just happened to reuse an image and this has no meaning. But if you guys do know, let us know. Is this guy watching through the perspective of the person who's like, who was the first victim of the backrooms? And is, if so, does that mean that they seized the camera so that no one could find the footage? Or hmm. <laughs> I'm going deep with this. I like it. Well, I'm trying to because there, there's not. We're not. We're not being given a lot here, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to like pay attention to details because, like you said. With this kind of like filmography, it's very subtle. There's like subtle hints. Like remember the first, when I first showed you the first found footage um, that I had already watched, you were missing all the monster sightings. So I had to point I, them out right. to you. <laughs> well, they were like a nanosecond when he appeared. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a box of tissues, by the way? Yes. Okay. I was just making sure that's not part of the computer because it's kind of staticky. No zone. What does that say? I don't know if I can read that. Oh, oh something whoops, about sorry, electrician that. discrepancy between... Huh. Huh. No zone three. Is it, is it going to is it gonna clear up? I hope it clears up because I can't read that. Due to the elevation Ele discrepancy? Hold on. Come on. Electricity? No. No, it looks like elevation discrepancy. Between... Is it gonna is it gonna clear up? I don't think so. Oh, come on. Oh, I want to read that. Due to the elevation discrepancy between panel B25 or and B24, a small a small a small something field is created. Hmm. Or or a no something field is created. Maybe a no zone? A no zone. Due to the elevation discrepancy, uh, some sort of no zone is created. I'm assuming that's what it says. Okay. Um, so this is the no zone. Yeah. Elevation discrepancy. Like different floors, I'm thinking. Let's see. Remember in the first back rooms, the guy escaped by going down a floor? That's right. Is yeah. Was that a no zone? So like a no zone maybe is like a safe zone from the monster where it can't get to you. Because hmm. remember, when it ran down, there's no reason why the monster couldn't just jump just down, jump and, down and get him. Get him. Yeah. And so, we thought he would. We thought he would jump through that hole in the right. floor. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was done for. <laughs> uh, when the hmm. when I watched it for the first time, I was assuming you did the same. Um, so maybe like a no zone is like a safe zone. Right. Uh, that seems. I don't know what odd. else it could be. A no zone could also be like a spawn point. Maybe like where the where you fall into the back rooms, um, for the first time the elevation discrepancy because remember well, you're falling into the back rooms right. so I'm, that's my two theories is either like a starting point where you fall into the back rooms or like that one safe point but the thing i'm wondering is in the second found footage it didn't help going down the floor remember remember when the girl who was behind she the went down um uh she didn't just drop into the second level she actually went down she went down to uh, a, a declining it wasn't but it was a it was a hole was it a hole Remember, there's like a hole, and she went down the hole into the showers where there was like this gr green glow, and there was like by the oh. pool area. I'm thinking about the first time when she had the the ball, and she was. Mm. No, I'm not talking beginning. about when she went into the back room. I'm talking about remember when she was in the back room. Remember when she was running from the monster? She ran by the couch. Remember, there's right, a, there a big empty room, and then yeah. she went, ran past, it and there's the locked door. And in front of the locked door, there was a hole. Oh, I, I completely forgot that. Uh, she okay. she went. So, so let's see. So we got, guys, hear me out. 
so there's the hole and she went down the hole but the monster followed her down the hole remember i told you uh like the moment i found creepy was when when we looked to the side when she looks to the side and the monster's like running down the hall mm -hmm. and it's like running towards her mm -hmm. uh it, it, that means it followed her down to the next floor so then <clears throat> the null zone by elevation may not be uh, a pattern of protection, right? Yeah, because there's I, not going to be any it doesn't way make to sense. escape the the, how, the creature. How did how did the guy in the first um, found footage escape the monster by going down the floor? But the girl in the second found footage, the monster continued chasing her. Hmm. Was it a different type of monster? It doesn't look like it. It looked like no, it was the same, same type. So I don't know. Maybe not all places are no zones, unless it's maybe like an artificial thing. Like maybe the it was specifically created by those. Um, those guys who we just it saw, could be. <laughs> uh, uh, who were like these guys who are behind the yeah, computers. What well, if sure. they created the safe zone so the monster can't get them? So in the experiment, like you have to have a control, you have to control your variables, right? Like in any science experiment, you have to yeah. have controlled variables accounted for so your experiment doesn't go wrong. Yeah. So I'm, maybe they create the, with this. maybe they create these no zones as like safety zones to stay safe. It very well could be. Let's see. And the <laughs> reason I'm saying that is because now when I think about it, the re maybe the reason the hole didn't protect her from the monster. Is the hole was not meant to be there. It was a it was a broken hole. It was unnatural. You, you could see like pipes sticking out, and it was like uneven. Mm -hmm. But the hole he jumped down was a square hole, perfectly square, which meant it was constructed. So that's what I'm thinking. Wow, <laughs> love this guy's memory. <laughs> I, I'm getting excited because I'm picking up a lot more here than I than I thought I would. Okay. Uh, now I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, let's see. It's like a star. Um, I'm assuming this is like more, maybe maybe more behind the scenes, or I'm looking at all of it. They're looking up here. Oh, in the rafters. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let us know, guys. What what is this? Is um maybe a spawn point? No, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be a spawn point because people just randomly fall in from what we saw. Um, I don't know. Maybe behind the scenes. That's my guess. Like the computers. Like well, maybe it's like where you can walk through behind the walls. Oh, that's it. There it is. Huh. All right. That was the first um, secret video. Um, what do you think, Rob? Uh, it was vague. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, but I like it because it's not like it tells you the story. It says, mm -hmm. hey, here's what I think you should think. Um, we can watch it again and come up with a whole other set of ideas or thoughts behind it. Um, yeah, I, I like how you can like kind of theorize what's going on. Like I was just throwing out theories. I was just trying to... <laughs> my brain was like going to overdrive oh, yeah. trying to figure out like all the details is that a tissue box why is there tissues on his desk yeah you, you went he went with us yeah you really went with it um you took it to a, a deep level yeah. but what was uh surprising to, not surprising what was uh amazing to me is your keen memory from mm. the first video and well i had to edit those videos <laughs> oh okay so <laughs> when you edit the you videos could, you have to watch it all over again you committed so. to absolute <laughs> memory yeah i only saw it one time and i'm, I'm I'm trying to recall exactly uh, the things that you were describing. <laughs> yeah, because guys, for reference, so we do a video reaction, right? So we watch the video. Then I watch the video again because I edit the video. And then I watch a video the thir a third time because then I need to create chapters for the video. So I write out all those little witty chapters for you guys. <laughs> so I end up watching the videos like three or four times over every time. <laughs> Thank you. I just feel a lot better because I thought, oh my gosh, am I sick or something? <laughs> Why don't I remember that? <laughs> Trust me, once you become an editor, you will know every little detail every in a, in a video frame. that you put out. <laughs> so okay good I, I feel a lot better yeah so there's a little bit of relief for you yeah. um are you ready to move on to the next one i want to see the next one yeah all sure. right so this is the other one um let me share my screen again so i put up the next video for us um so this is the one i believe is for the second found footage that we missed um so with this we'll have covered both the secret videos so this one has a little bit more of a descriptive name but not by much <laughs> mm. uh, it's called home yeah. So home makes sense. The part that doesn't make sense is two seven six four two seven six four seven um, dot mov. Mov is a movie format. I think that's the format which I export our videos. So um, standard video format, right? Mm -hmm. um, any idea what this number could be? 
two seven six four seven. I don't think it can be a date. No, no, it's not a date. Yeah. I'm looking for a pattern here, but um, I'm, that, I'm not seeing it. Yeah. All right. You guys, let us know if there's any any meaning behind the number, because um, for us it doesn't always really stand out. So I'll just take it as home. <laughs> Oh. Could have been the street address. Very different. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Doesn't this remind you of the the, the last frame on the previous one? Remember, it was like that star, the glowing star. star. Yeah. It could just be a lens flare effect from like an older style, but I just noticed that. But right away, I, this is this is not the back room. It's clear. This is like in real life because you can see other people walking around. And you can hear like a hustle bustle. Are they going to fall into the back rooms? <laughs> I have no idea how this relates so far. <laughs> This does look like real footage, though, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. I think it is real footage. I don't think this is like simulated like the back rooms. Um, let, guys, let yeah. us know: is is this footage that he took? Um, is this his footage? Did did he like use stock footage, or did he actually take this footage and just kind of like add an effect to it? I'm wondering. Hmm. So, because maybe he used this footage and it's like old footage that he recorded and he kind of wanted to share with people. Well, uh, given his age at the time that these were made, I think uh, this was actual footage mm -hmm. but footage he used either from he found it yep. or or maybe it could be old family uh, videos or something yeah that's what i'm thinking too it's like old family videos and he clearly applies some sort of effect because it's like all wavy i don't think that it was like that originally because um, he's done this with some of his other videos right i think it's poor recording or poor equipment really i think so whoa what is yeah, if you go back and see what's in the sky. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. It's like it looks like look, it looks like a. Uh, it looks a like girl. a face. Yeah, with like an eye, eye, long hair, eye, lips over here, and a nose right here. Yeah, exactly. and, and we got the hair on the sides. Uh -huh. Why is there Why is there a girl in the in the sky? Huh. Uh, I'm lost. <laughs> how are you feeling? No, I'm intrigued. I'm just wondering how this all relates to the backrooms because this feels completely different. All the other backrooms videos, they have like suspenseful music. And there's no other people around. This one, there's people everywhere. It just looks like a normal everyday life, right? And the music is kind of cheerful, right? Well, you know, it's a juxtaposition. Uh, one is really creepy and mm -hmm. and cold, um, scary. Um, this one's more lively. It's real. It's it's warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot more warm. Yeah, um, warmer. I'm just wondering how, what's the connection between this and the second backrooms video. Is this like, is this the memories of the first victim? I mean, okay, the second so victim. You know what? The second victim, second video, was a uh, was a young lady. Exactly, that's what I'm. And thinking. we're seeing here a young lady in the clouds or in the sky. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is her memories, right? Because um, in the first backrooms video, our uh, tribute to her. Yeah, the the previous video we watched was related to the first backrooms video, and the, so that that one's clearly very related because it's kind of showing us like maybe some behind the scenes stuff and explanations. Here is very. It seems very unrelated. So the only connection I can make is through this frame right here, which is it's her memories, right? And what she remembers. Right. So if she grew up in the urban city or something. Right. Okay. Let's, let's, let's see. see. Yeah, see? There's there's a another lady, so maybe that's her. Mm -hmm. Is that is that is that her again or is that some other girl? I think it's someone else. This one has light hair. Dark hair. Unless she dyed her hair. Maybe the, maybe this is like her lover or something. I don't know. We're just speculating here, guys. I'm guessing too. Like this is like a college. Mm -hmm. This actually <laughs> this actually looks very similar to one of the buildings on the campus I went to, right here. We had like this tall building, and then there's like a stairway leading down the side. So it looks. It reminds me a lot of my university. Whoa. Graveyard. Graveyard. Yeah, why are we going by a graveyard? Hmm. Is this where the where the, 
I because I this is a complete stretch, but <laughs> I see there's like greenery, like a mm-hmm. forest. I wonder. Remember the guy when he the in the first found footage, he dropped his camera, and fell down into a forest. That's right. What if it like was somewhere near here? That'd be cool if like that was like if we're watching that connection. Yeah. yeah. Like what if what if we're watching from the perspective of someone who stumbled across his found footage? That'd be cool. This is, I, I want to see a video like that. I want to see the person who stumbles across his camera, fl- plays the back the reel, and sees him get murdered by this monster. Right. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, usually in filmography, there's nothing without a meaning, right? So I'm wondering what is the meaning here, because this well, is very... So, so we're going from the outside. We've been outside mm-hmm. this whole time to right. inside. Oh. And we're getting a taste of uh, time because when you look at the TV, mm-hmm. it's a pretty old TV. Yeah. Um, so it's like the 90s, right? Uh, yeah, it looks like 90s. Exactly. Yeah. And because I'm looking at the other video we just watched, it was like around that time frame as well. Uh, and like said, there's always got a, there's a meaning. There's always a meaning in like, and whenever, I feel like Kane would have intentionally put this here. And I want to know why. With a dozen red roses on the, on the left side. Mm-hmm. That kind of relates to the funeral thing the graveyard the graveyard um i I don't know yeah i don't know if it's the same but i know that in slavic cultures uh an odd i think and you always want to gift an odd number of flowers to your date because an even amount of flowers signifies death but we can't really tell how many always (laughs) remember that yeah so here's a quick tip guys if you ever go to a slavic culture let's say you're visiting ukraine uh if you're going to give a present like flowers to someone like on a first date, don't make it an even number because then that that's like a funeral. <laughs> even is for like for like death and funerals and sad events versus odd is for like celebration. <laughs> so never give a dozen red roses. Keep it odd. Yeah. So if you buy a dozen, take one out. <laughs> yeah. Every All right. time. Let's keep going. Well, by the way, this what is this. I was it's like a jar. I thought maybe a candle with a lid on it or something. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking like a jar. I I just thought peanut butter, but I, mm. <laughs> I don't know. Probably, it's probably not peanut butter. <laughs> it's too pixelated to tell. Oh, that's upside down. I was thinking the same thing. So you saw it as yeah. well, upside down. Well, I, I just saw it because this doesn't make any sense. It looks like something stacked right here. Mm-hmm. But then uh, but then once it panned down, this is clearly a roof point because it's panning down. Mm-hmm. Either a shed or a roof with a or big window. That, that's what I was thinking yeah. by like a roof, like an attic. Um, but I'm kind of leaning towards a shed because it's actually really big. No, it, it, I'm gonna go with an attic. Yeah, you're right. You're right, actually. Because then stuff stored in there. Yeah. Um, what? Why is it flipped though? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So we're outside again. Yep. Lots of shops. Someone made it. <laughs> Let's see. It's like some mess here, some wine glasses. Someone had too much to drink, drunk driving. <laughs> right, uh, but it's interesting how the faces are blurred. Maybe, th- but you can see it's a it's a snapshot of time. Look at the mm-hmm. chairs. Those chairs are what from the late eighties or something. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, I wonder. Mid eighties. I wonder if, if Kane just looked for a reason to stick some of his old family photos in here. <laughs> Yeah, I, he's, he's going somewhere with it. Mm-hmm. I'm curious what it is. Well, unless, unless this is maybe, uh, maybe if we're going back earlier, right? We're the couple. What if this is the guy from the couple and he and her both had a kid? Right. Or his mom and dad. And that might be... A younger brother? A documentary of himself. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Out and funeral about. home? Is that a funeral home? Whoa, I, I did not pick up on that at all. Funeral home. Yeah, try to pause it right there. I wonder if that's a funeral home. Look, there's a, it looks like a steeple in the back. It looks like a, I, I would think that's like a bank, like a key, key bank. Okay. Is that what that is? Looks like an F. Oh, yeah, you're right. It just was blurred. I thought it was a big key. <laughs> it shows how much I know. <laughs> uh, family? Oh, it's so... I'm really curious oh, okay. about that. This is fa- see, wait, if, if you hold it right there, if you look over to gas the station? left, is that a gas station or a portico? Like where the uh, hearse uh, pulls up next to the, the funeral home. And see, look, you have these, these windows... 
huh. these tall dark windows yep in that portico huh yeah, I don't know. This 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 um this wavy effect on the camera is making it really hard to tell. And I think it's used intentionally so you can make out what the words are. Mm -hmm. Um maybe because he just doesn't want to like um show what these real locations are cuz maybe it's like like I said maybe it's family recordings and he doesn't want you to know where his family is living or was living. Um, well, it certainly brings up a mystery. Right. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's something you never see anymore. <laughs> One of the dial. So let me ask, uh, how many of you know what this is? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, for, uh, I know because some horror games make you use this old technology where you have to dial the number. Ding, uh, you... ding. <laughs> excruciating to use. Oh, it's excruciating <laughs> because in today's world, it would take so much time. Um, if you'd lose your patience dialing a phone number. Yeah, and then if you hit the wrong digit, now you just start all over. Yeah. Oh, man. So I guess it's supposed to be like, maybe this is just supposed to be like a blast from the past. Hence home, because home is associated with like memories, right? Mm -hmm. It's this, the place you always want to go back to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone taking a walk. Once again, whoa, oops, I just bumped the microphone. No, wait, freeze it. No, nope. nope. move it because that is a really good shot. It looks mm -hmm. like the creature. It's not the creature. Oh, you but, just gave me chills with that. But this <laughs> dark stick figure right here. Uh -huh. Right. Yep. Against this uh, sunsetting, uh, sunset uh, illumination of the pond, this golden pond or river, mm -hmm. that looks like the creature. It reminds me of the creature, anyway. Right. Uh, no offense to the maker of this. It might be your sister. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, nice one, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, for me, what I why I pause on this because look, once again, it's a it's a woman, right? Right. So I'm wondering if this is the memories of the victim of the second backrooms video oh, right, because right. i'm trying to figure out what's the connection between this and the second backrooms found footage video because that video is what links to this video as is this being the secret video for that video mm -hmm. so all the only thing i see in common here is, is it looks like it's the memories of her um who i'm assuming got killed or i don't know what happened at the end there because the room turned green on her right mm -hmm. it looks like this radioactive glow so well i think she got she was consumed consumed well, I don't know. Did the monster make it to her before the green glow did something? Or we'll have to take back, uh, to go back and take a look or something. No, it's not there. I edited yeah. the video, <laughs> so let's keep going. She's by herself this time. She doesn't have that guy that was in the college campus, unless that was a different girl, right? Uh, day at the beach. Oh, there's the guy. Fishing. So that's her, and that's the guy, right? Okay. I'm assuming. And then and, and her again. Her, right. Ooh, what's this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does this kind of remind you of that one room in the second backrooms video where it was like all with, vines? Are? Yeah, with all the vines. It also reminds me of a neuro cell, but <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. But what's this down here? This gold disc looking thing. Oh, is that a shoe? Oh, is that that's a shoe? shoe. Look at that. That's the okay. sole right there. Okay. It's a shoe. Uh, thanks for pointing that out. Wait, what if it's a person who's absorbed into a wall? <gasps> right. Because remember in the back rooms, there's all those vines everywhere. What if it? What if it's the person is either being consumed by, yeah. or is turning into one of those things slowly? Because uh -huh. okay. that's like that's a shoe. That's totally a shoe, right? You can see the. Yeah, it looks like a, like a, a slipper type shoe. What do you call them? Pumps or something that huh. ladies wear. Yeah, slip-ons or something. It's kind of eerie though, because it looks. It, it, this looks real. Well, even here, it looks like you know two eyes in the mouth, with the horns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like a tall, slender thing. Yeah, thing. <laughs> no longer human. No, N not. This is interesting. Because oh, we both hit pause at the same time. <laughs> this is the first time he's showing faces. Oh yeah, we're actually seeing faces here. Huh. Hmm. And you know the other thing I'm noticing? I think in almost every other shot, right? It's it's the woman is always there. Yeah. But in this shot she's no longer here. Right. It is and they showed this shot where she's no longer here after they showed the shot of something being absorbed into the wall with its foot sticking oh, out. Oh interesting. So is that right, her? Right. Because right. right before the even the shot right before showed her in the frame as well. So is she is she gone and this is her family that they're showing? Yeah. 
And maybe they show the face. They're having a great time, right? But she's actually fallen into this other dimension mm -hmm. and being absorbed into the... And she's turning into a creature. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Let us know, guys. Uh, unless <laughs> if so unless the the last end um the this ends with um, shots of her again, I'm gonna assume this is what's going on. Oh, look at that! She's looking. No, no, no. Look at the the mom. She's actually looking into the camera. Yeah. Not at uh, at supposedly her husband mm -hmm. and supposedly the son who's looking at the music. That his dad is playing on the piano. But the thing that I'm looking at is it's zooming in on this frame in the back. Oh, and remember in the second back room is found footage, the monster appears when we went up to the frame. So I'm in just... In that room. That's right. But I think this is a different room, right? Or is this no, the same room? it's a different room. room. Or... Yeah. yeah. But All right. But let's see. Because it doesn't look like it's zooming in on her. It looks like it's zooming in on the... It's dead center. Oh, is that wait, the same wait. one? It's the same picture. It's the same picture. I think so. Yeah. What? It, but this it's, isn't. This isn't the real world. This isn't in the back rooms, right? Okay. So, so wait, wait, wait. Let's pause on this just for a minute to think. <laughs> That's the same picture. Same picture. So, what if in the back room, this whole area became a whole different dimension, um, and it's been replicated in this oh. other dimension, and so that the girl when she went into the room. She saw this and she recognized it maybe as something. Oh, as one of her memories. Yeah. And so she's like, what is this thing doing here? What is it doing here? And why does it look this way? Yeah. And nothing else was replicated either, right? Because I, I think that's the only thing that was replicated. I think so. Huh. And yeah, because the rest of this doesn't really look like the back rooms. And let's, let's see. No. Did it have that floor? Maybe it did. Did we just miss it? Could have. The only thing that would be similar to the back room would be these vines on the um, no the, on the piano, but, but that's just like a plant. It's a big deal. Um, hmm. Because I wonder if what, what if also if people were like living in the back rooms, like they made their own little mini group. Hmm. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense though. No, I think I think you're right. I think it's something about either being replicating, like you said, or somehow this ended up in the back rooms, and I'm wondering how. So. And who, and who had time to neatly frame it on the wall of the back <laughs> It was also covered in veins. Mm -hmm. in, right. the, in the second one. Yeah. Jazzy music. Getting closer and closer. Ooh, is that what's ending it, the video on? It is. Wow. So I guess that was something that was very meaningful and important to center on. And I'm glad we recognized the painting. He made sure you that you recognized it by zooming in all the way. Yeah. But uh, but you were really keen in how you saw the camera was focused on that. That mm -hmm. was dead center. He definitely wanted us to see that. Yeah. It became even more apparent at the very end. <laughs> So what do you think? I feel like this is like, a I'm like right now we're playing like detectives and we're trying to figure out like a cold case. <laughs> like what is going on here? It's like you were playing like a game of Clue. This happened here and this was there. The painting was in that trying room. Trying to put it all together. <laughs> How does it make sense? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that as we watch the rest of the series, they'll answer some more of our questions and not give us more questions. But either way, I'm, I'm excited for both, for more questions and answers. So they're uh, along with this, video there are other ones that are linked to it as a series um yeah so kane parson has some other videos i think when you guys left in the comments below you you told us the exact order to react in so thanks for providing the whole list um and we'll react in that order and for each video from now on we will pay attention to the description to make sure that we don't miss any of these secret videos because yeah. this was actually really cool it was i like how it tied into the the original videos that we were reacting to mm -hmm. um i can see the connections between this and the second one and the connections between the other one we reacted to and the first one yeah so um yeah but let's know what you think uh you might have some thoughts some opinions uh interesting theories about what this means and mm -hmm. and how it connected how both of them connected to the uh, to the first and second videos mm -hmm. yeah Maybe Serge and I are kind of onto something here, or you might think, you know, you guys, were, you missed the mark. Yeah, but uh, I'm I, I think it's pretty easy to miss the mark on these videos. Well, I think someone mentioned in the comments that it, um, they were ambiguous, right? And right, they're the, it would like blow your mind, yeah. um, is what they're saying. 
but if you guys do know the official theories um if you guys have your own theories let us know of course but if you do know the like what's actually going on um if it's not a spoiler let us know if it is a spoiler uh let us know after we watch the full series because <laughs> because <laughs> we don't want spoilers. to we don't want any spoilers until yeah. of course we've watched it through so if there's if there's an answer to some of the questions we asked in this episode that are covered in other episodes then uh, don't tell us but if it is something you can tell us then tell us so uh eager minds want to know yeah <laughs> so know. we we don't we're not the smes here you guys are so yeah. let us know if you think you can let us know if not wait till we finish the series so smes that's me subject, subject matter, matter experts. experts yeah <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the subject matter experts i'm assuming you are the smees <laughs> you guys know what you're talking what, what is going on here and we are just we are the new detectives, brand new to the department, just trying to crack the case. <laughs> We're the rookies here. Help us out. So, yeah. Blair Witch Project. Now we have the the Backrooms Project, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. And more series with this guy. And what's his name again? You've said it like three uh, Kane times. Kane Parsons. Kane Parsons. I think that's. I think that's. I'm saying that right. Let us. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Well, I'm curious. Uh, I want to Google this guy and read read it more about him. Um, definitely very talented. Yeah. And if there's any of his other work you think we should react to, let us know. But I think for the most part, it's going to be the Backroom series from here on out. And we'll react to all of his videos and come. Up, let's see how close we are with our initial. <laughs> with our, <laughs> yeah, our, let's see. With our initial Keep theories. Our fingers crossed. We'll see how close we are. Uh, prediction. Let's do a prediction, Rob, before we wrap up the video. Yeah. By the end of the series, do you think we're going to know what's going on? Yes or no? I think we'll be halfway there. That's a great answer. Because <laughs> I was leaning towards no, but I like your answer even better. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll know some things, but we'll still know, not know other things. There's, well, that's what's intriguing about this guy. Uh, he's so good. You, know, you, you look at this stuff and you could watch it again mm -hmm. and again and again and um either solidify your theory or come up with new ones because it was ambiguous mm -hmm. but it was inter interesting enough again to draw you in yeah and not so much these these the, what do they call these these backrooms backrooms but these other videos the backroom videos are so creepy but then these mm. ones were just so different uh, like I said, it was just a juxtaposition of yeah. Um, um, Although that one frame where it showed like the foot out of the wall was kind of creepy because it that was <laughs> it suggested what what happened to her. Yeah. I'm assuming to her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is. I think we'll be halfway there. Yeah. I, I, what I'm liking so far is that it seems like with every video, it, there's it gives you a little bit more ideas of what's going on, but at the same time, it gives you more questions. So. Mm -hmm. Every video is like a cliffhanger. It makes you want to watch the next one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. Which we're going to do. Yeah, we're definitely going to watch. You guys let us uh, know that, hey, this is worth reacting to. And we're, I'm really glad you guys did. Because yeah. uh, we, were, we weren't sure, actually. We weren't sure. Should we just react to the found footage one and two? Because those seem to be like the top videos um, that were being recommended. But apparently all the other ones are also really good. So we're looking forward to watching them. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your recommendations. Yeah, and stick, us, stick with us with our journey. We have a playlist full of all of our reactions to the backrooms, and we'll be uploading to that playlist in the order that we react to his videos. So Keep an eye out for them. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video. And we will see you'll see us again soon. All right, guys. Take care. Yeah.